right. First class of the year. So let's start it outside. It was a choice, but let's just do it this way. Right? Hey. お願いします。<笑> <coughs> Three circles one way, circles the other way. And the arms going forward. And going back. And stretch one side. And the other side. Crossing one side. And the other side. And arms up and back. <clears throat> and open and close. I'm trying to get Hey, Yoko. Go. Go. Thank you.
<coughs> there you go, sorry. Take guys up and forward. Down. Look at your knees from the back. This guy goes one way. That goes the other way. Three. Down. 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 Open your toes and down. Down. Three. <clears throat> and your hips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, then side your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep to one side, hinging from our hips. And one, two, three, four. It's very important to try to remember to not, not lead with the shoulders, lead with uh, the hip hinging. So it's very important to not lead with the shoulders and curl our back too early. Maybe eventually in the process that happens a little bit at the end, but, but the movement needs to be led by the hips, not by, by the shoulders. So be very disciplined to keeping your shoulders back, okay, your, your back straight as much as possible. So what hinges is, is the hip. Um, you don't even have to touch the ground. Uh, there is definitely more priority on doing a proper hinge motion, for example, such as this, rather than touching the ground. If touching the ground is making us lead with the shoulders, then touching the ground is not that important. Hinging is more important, okay? So, again, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and by your side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then, now this time just a little bit more exercise on our knee and, and, and um, our knee and our joint. So raising, chambering your leg, opening it up to 40 degrees as and get towards your side, hinging. So, and put it down. Okay, once again, a bit of a balance, structure challenge. Um, uh, keep mobility, so raising up your knee, open it to 45 degrees, 45 degrees, moving it back, hinging as much as possible, up and down again, okay, so up 45 degrees, back, front again and down if possible, okay? So take your time. If you definitely need to support yourself against a wall or grabbing a jaw or something to keep yourself balanced, that's that's also totally fine. Um, so, but if you can do it, even if your knee doesn't raise, you know, too high, but up 45 degrees, round the corner, your back, hinging. Front and down. And the other side, front up. 45. See, so more than 45, it's as much as possible. Ideally, ideally, it will be almost like 90. Coming back. And going forward. And here. <clears throat> if you're uh, at home, it's funny like how you how you can, you know, feel different things at home. If you have mats, especially if you have the squishy mats, the triple core, um, sometimes that uh, squishiness makes it more difficult to, to keep your balance. Um, you remember a few weeks ago when we had Shihan Lebek coming to teach in our dojo. He didn't like the mats, and that was because when he was doing the his, um, his, uh, those kind of exercises, the mats, you know, were, were not very helpful in keeping his balance. So either way, I mean, you can practice either in a more stable surface, which will be just the floor of your house, um, or you can give you the extra challenge of being on the mat, which means it's going to be kind of challenging you because it's a little bit more squishy and every part of your weight that you put on, on a floor, you have less resistance against that. So, okay, so you can do either way, you can keep staying on the mat or you can, find a bit more of a stable surface and see if there is any difference with your balance and with your stability in doing the same exercise, okay? So raising your leg up, one, opening, passing 45 degrees, as much as possible, 90 degrees. Sending it back. Sending it forward. And down. One more time. Raising up. 45, 90. Backwards.
and relax your hips. Direction. Go. And the other direction. Legs, keep it tight. On your knees, on your knees, on your knees, on your hands, elbows. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, out. On your toes, breathing in, raise your hips, breathing out. And one more time. A D Go D Go D Go And one more. Three. Go. Two. Go. Two. Go. Your legs, hands down, elbows down. And bring your hands back, down. So, up, turning one side, turning the other side. Other side. And the other side. Down, walking forward. Hands down, hips down. Up, walking back. And raising up. Down. Walking forward with your hands. Hands down. Down, forward with your hands, down, up, and hands up. This time, forward with your hands into plank position, feet together, plank position, taking one leg forward. One, push down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, Up a little bit lower. Up, opening up, open your legs and Cossack. Up, and again, and down, switching legs. Switching, now up, and down, one. Down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five. Take your foot down a little bit, raising up, opening up, and go back. Up. 
down, push it down. Slowly push it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Slowly push it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Slowly push it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Slowly push it down. Time. Then you're going to come forward, push down, push up, touch one foot, and touch the other foot, and push it forward again. Okay, so down, up, kick up, touching foot, touching foot, pushing forward, down, up, push up, down, foot, other foot, forward. Down, up, push up, foot, foot, forward, down, up, up, foot, foot, forward, down, up, push up, foot, foot, forward, down, up, up, foot, foot, forward. In. All the way in. Bring you back. One. Two. Three. three four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, three, relax your hands, just go, go, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, 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 go, 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 mentioned yesterday and during the week, in addition to leading the movement with your hips, try to engage your, um, your core muscles on a cylindrical, cylindrical level. So engage your core muscles. You take advantage of your belt, belt okay? you know, engage the muscles. Sometimes that is related to breathing, but not necessarily. It's a muscular action, not necessarily a respiratory action, but obviously they, they are links, they are linked somehow. So you know, to engage your core muscles, you may use your, uh, your breathing uh, uh, muscles, your diaphragm and so on, um, or you will just engage your muscular uh, system in order to engage them all. The important thing is we did this game a few weeks ago where uh, someone stuck a tanto in there and by expanding when you're breathing in your muscles, you know, but that's your diaphragm, the tanto gets stuck by engaging your core muscles, a similar feeling more or less is created, but not necessarily by the respiratory system, but by the muscular system. Something that uh, we need to study a lot on our own. The important thing is engage your core muscles so you can feel pressure in a 360 degree 
uh, uh, form around your, your belt. When those core muscles are engaged, when those core muscles are engaged, and when your hip is driving the movement, then you protect your lower back from uh, doing a pull um, that is that would be detrimental uh, in, in a COVID. Okay, so front, engage muscles, use your hips. Hey, right foot in front. Same thing. Hey. Yes. 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 So in, so in, so in, so in, so in, so in, so in. Go. Okay, so um, uh, this week we've been trying to, believe it or not, <laughs> that's possibly my fault, pretty much like everything when we teach it <laughs> at, at the school, um, we've been trying to review uh, the basics, the basics of, of, of training, normally in, in very basic forms such as Soto Tenkan, forms of Ikkyo, forms of Iriminage, forms of Shikonage, uh, Kokyuho, um, you know, grabbing that, that, set of, that set of exercises as, as, as some of our most basic exercises that we've been trying to, to work on them. Uh, we got a little bit overexcited with the Mawaru Ski kind of application set of exercises, but the intention, the intention was there. The intention was to, to keep it you, you know, using very basic techniques um, uh, in the form of Ikkyo, um, Ibinage forms, even though we did a couple of Henka Waza, not only Kihon Waza, um, and also Shihonage, which uh, we didn't do enough during the week. We never do enough, but we didn't do enough, especially this week. Uh, anyway, so let's start just with a set of very basic set of uh, body movements, our first Thai Sabakis. Um, let's start with uh, stepping in, Ayumi Ashi, using your hips, Awaru Ashi, turning, pivoting, and stepping back and absorbing, and then the other foot. So Ayumi Ashi. Awaru Ashi, pivot, and tension, absorbing right. Okay, so stepping in, turn, pivot, and absorb. Again, you know, remember, you know, um, your hand knee position, your foot slightly leaning forward, get your weight forward, your hands activate. Okay, so Ayumi Ashi, stepping in. Turning, pivoting, absorb, and come back again to basic. So five movements, uh, if we consider that we reset back into 
uh, standard handy position. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to try to, we, we need a little bit of Chico and we say how much more difficult is to do things right in the standing up than on Chico. Chico is more difficult because it's challenging in nature, but it is more difficult to do it right when standing up because standing up, we can dispense from using our hips which in Chico, we, we cannot do that. So you could be practicing this exercise at home, either on Tachiwaza, which is going to be more difficult because you have to, you have to be more disciplined with your hips, or on uh, Suwariwaza, um, which will make it um, more challenging physically, but more correct in terms of execution because you have to move on your hips, okay? So if you are from standing up, lower your hips, lower your hips, engage your hips in the movement at all times, okay? So one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. All right, so now to give it a little bit of a uh, you know, four directional sense, uh, let's start by doing one, and then we're going to do it this way. So one, then turning into 90 degrees. Three, you know, four. So we're going to turn, the, the turn is going to be a 90 degree turn, not a 180 degree turn. Hopefully that makes made any sense. Okay, so let's try to do it together, okay? So stepping in, one, Turning 90 degrees, pivot, absorb, and handy. Again, one, turning 90 degrees, pivot, absorb, handy. And then we should be back where we started. Okay, so let's practice that. Step in, 90 degrees, pivot, absorb, handy. Step in, turn 90 degrees. Pivot, absorb, and okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, so as a basic exercise, uh, let's do the Tai Salaki that we did with the Mawaru Ski to the Henkawasa Iminage that we practiced a few times. Just because it's a, you know, we repeated a few times. Yes, actually, let's do that one as a cookie. Um, let's do that one at the end. Uh, grab your tanto, if you can, please. Grab a tanto or a stick, if you can. Okay. So. <clears throat> tanto. So, okay, so I'm going to uh, left foot in front, tanto on the back hand. No grip, okay. Enter, up and down. Ikkyo omote. Okay. okay. Tanto on the back hand. Okay. We did it. We did this irimi. We did this ikkyo in. Uh, we did irimi nage in two forms, either absorbing or entering. This time, let's en let's enter. So, enter, down. Out, ikkyo. Then, and enter. Okay. The other side. Enter, up, down. Ikkyo, step. 
it's not a, the sensation of having the plant on the hand hopefully enhances the, the grip, but also enhances the feeling of cutting down, okay? So, enter, cutting down. For example, with an entering sensation as opposed to with an absorbing kind of sensation. So at the moment we're doing ikyo omote entering. So each ni she each ni stand she. Driving a lot with that hand, okay? Each knee, stand, she, four, and each knee, stand, she, four. All right, so now this time we're going to do iriminage with the same feeling, but the difference is going to be now that the tanto is going to be grabbed in the side grip position, uh, still on the backhand. We're still going to enter, one, cutting with the tanto, cutting down two, okay, stepping behind, cutting down, raising up, and entering, full iriminage. If you're familiar with Joko Miyuchi iriminage, this should be more or less familiar to you as well. So, tanto on the backhand, side grip. Going to enter one, cutting two, stepping behind your partner. Ideally, here, or kuriashi, not mawaruashi, raising up and okay, other side, enter or oh, turn. That's fine, that's a real hotel. Stepping in, or oh, kuriashi, jibukai, raising up. And enter. Side, your side. Entering. Your foot tenkan. Your tenkan. Enter behind. Oh, kuriashi, jigotai. Make sure that your forearm is down, controlling the part of the spine. Raising up. And hitting. Okay. Side. Enter. Turn. Stepping in, slide, cut down, forearm controlling your part of the spine, raising up, and okay. so each knee, stand, she, oh, rock. Okay, but why you go? Because before the before the rock, because the go breaks balance. Very important to emphasize the, the kusushi before the application of iriminage. Okay, so each knee and she oh rock. Time each knee. It's very important when we practice in solo to exaggerate our movements, to do them to the full extent. Um, because when we practice with Agupana, that's what is going to be demanded within the limitations of the speed, the timing, our partner's own capacity, etc. But in solo, there is no excuse for our movement being less than, being less than extreme. In terms of 
its range of motion. But I mean extreme is, you know, reaching to the to the edges of what is possible with your mobility. That that depends from person to person, from day to day, etc. But but uh, explore the edges of your mobility, you know, as an action of, of physical mobility and awareness. And as a reminder that those edges may not be achievable with your practicing with a partner because there will be other limitations, okay? So try to find those edges as much as possible, okay? So each me she each me Each me sad rock and hopefully on this, hopefully on this, um Alex, you just as you see in this, you know, they, they have it this hand, okay, there is the hand at the for the entry is a little bit more obvious. It's sometimes for the for the absorbing, but when it becomes a little bit less obvious, that that hand doesn't doesn't circles into it. Okay, so it, that hand doesn't circles into it. That hand raises the raises the the tanto in as as much of a linear way as possible. When we are absorbing back, which is sometimes what we do the when we swing to the circle. Um, when we come forward, it's a little bit more kind of obvious where the hand has to go. You know. This is a habit then making it safe. All right, to finish up, let's practice Shihonage Ura. Um, same thing, tanto on the back hand, okay, tanto on the back hand. This time, my kata tedori, okay, so that lower our center of gravity, shoto tenkan, pivot and step, and out. It's very long, so I may get out of, out of. So, kata tedori, shoto tenkan. Dori, chin so karai, from your heart, lower your center of gravity, shoto tenkan, step, and out. Side, chin so karai, so reach, second hand on top, you know, second hand, the one with the tanto, on top. Shoto tenkan, keep it in front of you, pivot, step, and out. Shinsokarai, tanto hand on top, make sure that it never leaves the front of your face. Shoto tenkan, extend, pivot and step, and out. So, Shinsokarai, on top, pivot and Shoto tenkan, pivot and step, out. Shinsokarai, on top, And on top, all the step, this side, so, oh, I and so, so, all right, let's finish up the Koku, no, Koku Ho, correct breathing method. Okay, with uh, this sequence of footwork that we practice a little bit during the week. So step back, lower, right forward, turn. Okay. Step back, lower, right forward, turn. Okay, so that's how we move around the, the Mawaru ski, the Mawashi ski um, that we're practicing. Okay, so practice one. Two, three, four. Okay, so it's very important to lower your body and then shoot. Okay, and this one you lower more because that's what the part where we were escaping from the from the mawaru, the mawaru ski. Okay, so breathing in, out, in, out, in, out. So two. Go, you, go, you, go. Only three words, okay? So 
Let's see if we can make it two breaths. So, ish. 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 It's really hard, isn't it? That's usually what I see. It's really hard to propel forward <clears throat> when you are uh, absorbing in. So, this is a little bit of the study of Kokyu Dosa, you know? of in which times of your movement, certain rhythms of the breath are, are more important than others. But sometimes we have to do the opposites, you know, to kind of say, ah, oh, how does that feel? So, yeah, so study a little bit of Kokidosa on your own time. You know, when are you breathing in, when are you breathing out in relation to what is your body performing in, in terms of function, okay? So do it on your own time, please. Hey, sorry, my Let's finish up. Right. <coughs> Fix your cake, Kogi. Man, hey. Hey, arigato gozaimashita. Happy New Year, everyone. It's good for to see you on the mat and the dojo too. Thank you.